welcome come in welcome to the prince george's african-american museum my name is gabriel and i'm jessica and we are about to take you on a virtual tour of our museum we're going to show you one of our art pieces would you like to come see it great come on because you have no choice come on <laughs> Even though you can't come to the museum, we are going to bring the museum to you in this time. Now, this is another one of my favorite pieces by Prince George's County artist David Cassidy from his Race, Religion, and Revolt exhibit. Let's go ahead and give you some time to do some deep seeing, deep looking, and take a look at this piece right here, this beautiful piece right here. Okay? Take it all in. And I want you to be thinking about when you're looking, who are the people in the picture? What are they doing? What do you think this picture means? And what do you think David Cassidy is trying to commu communicate with us through his art? Go ahead, take some time to look. Okay, and now that you've had some time to look, we'll tell you a little bit about it. So this particular piece by Dr. By David Cassidy is I Hope You Danced. And if you look at this piece, you'll notice that there are different figures throughout the painting that are actually doing different poses, different dance styles in particular. Before we go there though, let's start with the biggest, the biggest piece. Oh, so thank you. It's called I Hope You Dance, based off of the famous song I Hope You Dance. And we have two elders who are sitting on a bench mm -hmm. and they are thinking about their life as they look back over their life and david cassidy wanted uh there's so many times when we talk about things that have to do with african-american history and it's something sometimes it's sad but in this situation he's saying no matter what happened in your life i hope you took the time to dance because yes. dance is um, the biggest form of celebration that transcends all cultures yes. around the world. If people are dancing, they dance for celebration. Yes. They even dance if they're sad times, but dance is always a part of it. So now let's take a look at what kind of dances we have going on. So if you look over here, you see someone doing hip hop dance. You also see someone up here doing ballet. This young man in the middle right there, I believe that dance style is called crumping. Yeah, that's what he told us. That's what he told us. I was yeah. like, oh man, a throwback dance. Yeah. We have um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson right here. Do you see? The late King of Pop. Doing the moon walk. And um, African dance for my elders. Mm hmm. As you can see. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of, there's a salsa dancer mm -hmm. right here. So this style of art that you see here is called uh, Cubism. And Cubism is a form of art where the artist takes and tells the story in shapes. So I want you to look and see what kind of shapes you can see. And the cool thing about cubism is if you just look at the art face on, there's one way to see it. But let's actually let you pretend that you're looking at the art as if you were here. So I want you to take the art and look at it low. Let's do it low from up and see if you see something different. Actually, you know, from, from up, I see from down low, I see something totally different. Let's actually have you look from the left side and see what happens when you look and you come on the left side and see it's almost like a um, hologram. Very much so. And you so. see something Very totally different. So. Okay. What do you see if you go on this side? And then let's do one far back. Okay. So now, Gabriel, let's do their challenge for the day. Their I Hope You Dance challenge. Well, the simplest thing that we want you to understand for dance is that your elders have always had a rich history of dancing going before them. As you mentioned earlier, Jessica, they danced away their sorrows. They danced in times of joy. They danced for times of fun and play. 